Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole and welcome finally to another one of my speed review haul videos. It's sort of been a little while since I did one of these types of videos so uh, there's a lot in today's video, as is always the case. There are timestamps and links in the description box below, so you can feel free to jump around and watch whatever you want to. But overall, it is mostly skincare products that I've been using as far back as early December. And of course, these videos are where I give you speed reviews, quick little mini reviews of a bunch of products I've been trying. Not a first impression, but not a as in-depth as my uh, longer trials either. And one more thing, today's video also has a big giveaway that I've been working on for several months at this point. It's a good one. I hope you stay to find out how you can enter. And with that, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Since we're gonna do speed reviews, let's start off this video with a couple of repurchases that I made. I think we can get through those probably pretty quickly. So I did buy the Biosant Squalene and Omega Repair Cream. Again, I've really enjoyed this in the past, but I don't love the price. However, as you all know, we had some great deals on Biosants in the month of December, so I went for it. What I just needed to know was how much this compares to the Ghost Democracy Cocoon Cream. Y'all, it is bizarre. It is absolutely bizarre how similar these two products are. They feel so similar on the skin. They have some similar benefits. They almost smell the same. Both of these are amazing, hefty, occlusive moisturizers that are amazing for dry skin in the winter months. I don't even know if I have a preference. That's how similar they are. To me, I guess I, I do like that Ghost Democracy tells you all of the percentage of their active and uh, focused ingredients in the product. 2.2% ceramide, 17% lipid blend, 2.9% squalane, 1% oat. Whereas Biosans doesn't tell you that information, but I mean, they're so similar. <laughs> they're so similar. I'll actually go ahead and link both below. I can't affiliate any Ghost Democracy links, but I do have a 15% off discount that I will link. And if you saw my Urban Outfitters haul, I talked about repurchasing this, but it hadn't yet arrived. I did repurchase the Han Skin Hyaluron Skin Essence. This is one of those products where I didn't really know how much I would miss it until it was gone. I think I was over here imagining that all hyaluronic acid based essences are the same thing. And I know better. And deep down, I know better, of course, but I just forgot, I guess. So I'd been trying to use the new Good Molecules one. The reality is I, I don't, I don't love it. Maybe it's better for the summer months, but for the winter months, it's just not giving me enough. So I'm happy to have this again because it does seem to be a much more rich source of hyaluronic acid. And then this is, is this a repurchase? I, I don't know, but I bought from a tiny little indie company by the name of Brujita, which I've been raving about for several months on this channel, but I've also been saying uh, the products that I purchased were limited edition, so they were no longer available. I finally bought their uh, permanent collection and I'm posting this video on the day that they are starting a sale, a restock on the website. That's the one catch with this brand is because they're so small, you kind of have to catch them at the right moment. Y'all, I have fallen in love with this little brand. Their products are just so simple and straightforward and they work so well for my skin. So I bought two of the hydrosols. I bought the amber one and chamomile. Hydrosol is just the uh, distillate of uh, essential oil ingredients. Because they're such simple products, these are so versatile for me. As you saw in Wednesday's video, I like to spray them on before I use my LED mask. You know, the thing about uh, using LED treatments is we don't know if all of the active ingredients are good to pair with that. So as a word of precaution, it is recommended to not have any actives on your skin when you use LED therapy. However, there's some ongoing research in terms of uh, plant extracts that may actually boost the effectiveness of LED and then their oils. Oh my goodness, they're so good too. This one right here is the Heshizo oil. I'm so sorry if I'm saying that incorrectly. But this product is, is four ingredients, four ingredients. Cherry kernel oil, red raspberry oil, maracuja oil, and prickly pear oil. That's it. And yet it comes together to be such 
a nice oil. You know, again, I think that what these products do is they really help to round out my routine. I have active products. I have, you know, a lot going on in some products. I don't always want to just be adding more and more and more. Sometimes I just want something that is more simple and straightforward and yet still nourishes my skin. Oh, this brand, this brand. What if next we talk about Fenty skin? Mm. So I actually made a video on Fenty skin. It's one of, I, it might be the only video that I've ever made on this channel where I talked about products I haven't tried. I don't really like doing that. I feel like skincare, you have to try it to talk about it, but I did, I did it. And I said I was gonna buy some of the products and then I just never did. Ooh, Fenty skin was such a wild ride. I'm also gonna say, we are now in the year 2022. I think the celebrity skincare thing is waning. I mean, I got this on sale for 50% off. Fenty for 50% off. The, uh, the makeup brand Fenty Beauty it took years for there to be sales on anything. Y'all are already putting the brand at 50% off, and so is JLo. I don't hear any talk about these other celebrity brands. I think that it wasn't as successful as marketing teams thought it would be. I mean, Billie Eilish just came out with a perfume. Good. I think the entire world is saying good. You know what I think it boils down to? Celebrity anything ends up being something that is very emotional. People end up, you know, really feeling a certain way towards the products from this brand based on how they feel about the celebrity name that is attached. That makes perfect sense in a perfume. Perfume is all about uh, emotions, about feeling. How does the scent make you feel? It makes sense. When it comes to makeup, maybe it works sometimes, not as much others. But when it comes to skincare, in terms of priorities of what you're looking for, emotional attachment should not be at the top of the list. I will say there's sometimes emotions involved in skincare. You know, I like my skincare routine. That's fine, but it's not why I buy products. I buy products so they work for my skin, so they don't irritate my skin, so they get along with me. And something I've thought about the most with Fenty Skin for some reason, is I feel like some amount of people just really hate the concept. They hate it so much that they will never buy these products, which I do understand. I understand because again, it shouldn't be about emotions. But then I also worry, but are there some people that love Rihanna so much that they bought all these products, they're using them, and even if something goes wrong with these, even if they don't work with that person's skin, do they keep using them because of how much they love Rihanna? I don't know, that's a question. I really don't know, but I, I, I worry about things like that. So anyway, I did finally buy some products and I'm gonna give you thoughts on them except for the fat water. I have tested entirely too many toners lately. I will have to uh, come back to that one. Oh wait, no, I do wanna tell you one thing. This one smells really strong. Bear in mind, this was the initial release of Fenty, the one where a lot of skincare influencers said there was too much fragrance. Yeah, it's. It's scented. But what's interesting is the other skincare product in this kit, Instant Reset Overnight Recovery Gel Cream. This is not as scented. It's still scented, but not to the level that the uh, fat water is. I, I always want to know what the meetings that these brands have are like. Do you, do you think a bunch of people sat around with Rihanna, or may maybe they Zoomed, and they said, hey, Rihanna, the skincare influencers are saying your products have too much fragrance. We're just gonna have to dial it back a little in our future releases. And yeah, you know, this isn't bad. It's not going to be an absolute favorite for me. It's a niacinamide night cream. Niacinamide as an ingredient is fine for me, but I think because I have dry skin, it's just not as, it doesn't do as much for my skin as some other ingredients, but I will say it's fine. It hasn't irritated my skin. I was doing better with this than I was with the upcoming trial. It's fine. It's not great. It's not terrible. And I, I feel like if this was any other brand, than Rihanna's, that's what everybody would have said. Is like, oh yeah, it's, it's fine. I'm sure some people will probably love a niacinamide night cream. 
I feel like this is not surprising, but my favorite from this kit was actually the Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm. Maybe that's just because I like clear lip balms, and this is a, a lip balm done quite nicely. It does have a strong smell like the Fat Water, but it's a lip balm. I'm usually fine, I usually like smells actually in my lip balms. Uh, it's got a little bit of a tint to it, but it's much more of a clearer with a tint lip balm. The only thing I would comment is that I've, I've accumulated <laughs> a lot of lip balm around the tube right here, so I don't know if the design is working that well. I don't know, maybe it just doesn't fit that well. But anyway, I, you're, you're gonna see this in an empties because I use products like this all the time. And you know, maybe it's not even that surprising that a brand known for their makeup products when it comes to skincare would do a lip balm extremely well, maybe? So what was the sale price I paid for this? 35, I mean, it was worth it for me to be able to try the products. Uh, I don't know if I'll really buy from them again. If you're curious about the set, I'll link it below, but I'll also say it, it, it's fine. <laughs> A few Korean beauty products. So, let me start. Oh, I've been dying to tell you all about this one. Let me start with the I'm From Honey Serum. This was in the Yes Style Advent Calendar. They did gift me the calendar, and I'm very slowly going to work my way through everything that was in that, and the Style Vonnet calendar. We've got a lot of K-beauty to review for an entire year on this channel. The Honey Serum, though. <sighs> So I have been loving this, which I feel is pretty predictable. I do rave about the honey mask all the time, but I'm also gonna tell you, I don't think this is gonna be for everyone in the same way I feel about the honey mask. I think almost everybody will like the honey mask as long as you're not vegan, as long as honey works for you, I think you'll enjoy that. This being a serum, you've gotta be okay with this honey texture all day long. They did a good job of making it not too sticky, but it's still got a heaviness to it that I know some people don't like. I do like that. I like that very uh, protected and healing type of sensation on my skin. I love that, but I don't think everyone will. I think if you have oily skin, it's gonna stay looking shiny on your skin, so probably not for you. But if you have really dry, uh, particularly uh, irritation-prone skin, I think you will enjoy this. I will tell you, I think it's the heaviest serum that I've ever tried. From my hauls, I was so excited about this product. The Pyung Kang Yul Calming Moisture Barrier Cream. I think I bought this one from Style Korean, I think. So, uh, I was so excited. I love Pyung Kang Yul, they're one of my favorite brands. Uh, moisture Barrier Cream, that sounded perfect for my dry skin, which is, as you may have guessed from the last product, a little bit more irritation prone. And the thing is, in principle, this looks like a wonderful moisturizer, but it is a lot more lightweight than I expected. So uh, I think it might be a product I'll have to come back to in the summer months. It's just nowhere near enough for me right now. And it's so funny, this keeps happening to me with Pyung Kang Yul, specifically the brand Pyung Kang Yul. I keep buying the wrong moisturizers for my skin type. The Moisture Cream is great. It's made for oily skin. The uh, Calming Moisture Barrier Cream, which I thought sounded like it was made for my skin. No, too light, too light, at least for winter. So I will come back to this one in the future, but again, if you're on the hunt for a heavier moisturizer, if you have a similar skin type to mine, you might wanna go with the first two moisturizers that I showed in this video and not this one. So I actually have some skincare tools and body products to talk about next. So uh, first up, a brand by the name of White Rabbit had emailed me. I could not look away. What a great brand name. And they offered to send me some of their naked cotton pads, which, uh, you know, initially I was like, well, I don't really use cotton pads all that much. I really use the reusable type these days, but there are exceptions. So anytime I'm removing glitter, I always use a cotton pad and then throw it in the trash because it's best not to get it into the water supply, which actually got me thinking. I wonder if I should do that with my chemical sunscreens as well. It wouldn't be too hard, but there's one catch. Most of my cotton pads do have a lot of lint that they leave behind. And that was what this brand was claiming. I saw so many reviews of people saying, oh my gosh, these are actually lint-free. Well, I'm coming on camera now to tell you 
oh my gosh, these are actually lint free. So they sent over the cotton ones. These are just gonna be as close to what your regular cotton pads as possible. The textured ones, which I'll, I'll have on screen what these all look like. And then also they're stripped. These are interesting. They're a, a way to DIY your own sheet masks. Which video did I show uh, the Korean method of uh, applying cotton pads to your face, leaving them for five minutes, and then you know you get the benefits of a sheet mask without having to open a sheet mask. So that's the principle here. And by the way, all of these are all 100% biodegradable. They are not made of rabbit. They are made of 100% cotton. I will tell you that my personal favorite is the classic, but one thing I really do want to make sure to tell you is it was a little different initially to adjust to these. The ones I've bought the most are the Shiseido cotton pads, which I typically just cut in half to extend the life of. These, when I first got them, I wasn't sure what to do with them because you get, uh, you know, there, it's a folded up little cotton pad. Yes, Alice, yes, that is what it is. But yeah, I wasn't entirely sure what to do with these. It just felt different. However, it did not take me long to adjust and actually prefer these because snip snip down the middle, super easy to half these should you so desire to and it'll hold itself together as well. And again, no lint, they actually succeeded and I think it's just because it is that different type of design. So, you know, if you don't like pulling all the little lint off of your face. Some of you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, this is a pretty nice brand. And this is a Korean skincare brand. They are currently only on Amazon, but yes, they are a Korean brand. I hope they come to Yes Style, Stylevana, etc. Okay, this next skincare tool, you all will not believe that I received this. I don't believe that I received this. And yet, one day, I got my mail, I opened a box, and inside was a package from Foreo that contained the bearer. <laughs> I guess Foreo had missed my video where I said the bearer mini did not work out for me. I'll put up a little video clip where you see I'm actually using this at full strength. Full strength. However, when I get to my forehead, I, I shock myself. It's funny because they say they have this anti-shock system. Anyway, I'm working on a fully understanding the anti-shock system, but what I can tell you in the time, for the time, is that it's not something separate. The anti-shock system is, I'm thoroughly convinced at least, <laughs> the way that uh, this delivers the microcurrent to your skin. I am 99% certain that what this does is measures the resistance of your skin and determines what output to give your skin. So I think it actually varies a lot uh, what your current microcurrent is. And they also say that it's two and a half times stronger than the new face. I believe that. I believe that. I took a multimeter to this and I don't know if I can get in trouble for telling you what the multimeter said. Can I? But if the multimeter was correct, they are spot on with saying over two times stronger than the new face. And yet, you know, I like using it. I like the vibrations. I like the feeling of a Foreo. So I do like it, but I still struggle. Again, I, I y'all are gonna hate me so much when I do that six month video because the reality is I've been using three three electrotherapy devices that I just keep alternating because this is too much for my neck and my forehead, but it's fantastic for my face. Uh, the new face is perfect for here, but it's underwhelming on my face. And then of course the AHR for uh, really actually uh, lifting up my muscles. I do see that effect. Oh, and they also sent the serum, serum, serum. I, I will tell you it's a beautiful texture. It absolutely is, but I can't afford it. I'm glad I got it in PR so I can tell you, hey, if you have a lot of money, yeah, it's it's the nicest dielectric gel that I've encountered, but uh, it's very expensive. And then I have some CBD products to share with you all. So I actually, it's almost interesting. I get quite a few uh, PR requests from CBD companies, but I'm not interested if they don't display their lab reports. I feel like that's so important with CBD, especially since we are still in a bit of a new phase to CBD. I always say this because it's how I feel. I think there is so much promise to CBD. I cannot wait till we have decades of research, but until we do, 
I think it is really important for brands to disclose all the information that they have. So when this company reached out to me, I looked at their website and I was actually blown away. Blown away by not just the lab reports being very clear, but also everything else they were doing with their products. And you know what, in using these products, they are amazing. So I don't even know where I want to start. I have body care and supplements. Should we, let's, let's start with the supplements. So these are the Renew CBD capsules. They're 25 milligrams of CBD. They actually have two different types. They have a uh, CBD without any THC and then uh, these right here, which are the THC free version. Let me tell you, I still, I still take CBD to this day, but I typically take it in dropper form. I have to admit, it has been so much easier to just swallow a couple of these. It's been so much easier. Swallow and done. There, There is a bit of a lingering flavor of the oils that <laughs> all the CBD tinctures are suspended in. This is it's just CBD. And I think what's so great too is with each one of these being 25 milligrams, you can figure out what dosage works for you. I found I do best with two. And before I move on from talking about the supplements, I actually want to tell you about their incredibly brilliant CBD and melatonin combination. So they sent me a little sampler of this so I could try it, but I'll, I'll have the full bottle up on the screen. So what these are is 25 milligrams of CBD and five milligrams of melatonin. This is a brilliant combination. So first of all, I'm an insomniac. That's the reason why CBD appeals to me. I am terrible at sleeping without some help. What I will tell you is that melatonin for me works quickly. So um, I find melatonin is fantastic for jet lag. Anytime my sleep schedule is a disaster, I can take a melatonin and that night, it'll be uh, better in terms of my sleep cycle. Whereas CBD, I find it to be the opposite. CBD seems to help with your sleep cycle in the long run. So the first night you take CBD, don't be surprised if absolutely nothing happens. But I feel like, and again, this is why I'm so excited for the research, I feel like what CBD does is it helps to somehow reset your body. And again, I'm kind of, you know, hypothesizing until we really have this data, but that's really what it feels like to me. That's why some people take it for anxiety or for stress or for pain management. It seems to just help you to return to the right baseline. And so this idea of having both together in one capsule is brilliant because you get the short-term fix and the long-term fix. I actually don't know why I've never seen a company do that before. That's genius. And then their body care. And by the way, I, I handpicked these products off of their website. So the CBD roll-on, oh my goodness. If you have any kind of muscle soreness, this one is so well done because it's not just CBD, but it also combines lidocaine, some essential oil ingredients. And these are high amounts of CBD too. This is three ounces of roll-on here with 500 milligrams of CBD in it. You know, so many of these CBD companies, man, so many of them, sorry if I seem frustrated. I am with some CBD companies. They'll throw in, you know, 10 milligrams of CBD and it's just kind of like, I know CBD is expensive, but really just, Put, put enough in your product, please. And it's just a roll on, so it's so easy to roll it on. I get a lot of knee pain personally, so I just kind of roll this on my knees. I'm telling you, it's instant pain relief. Ugh, incredibly well done, brilliant to combine that with lidocaine. See, that's what this company is doing. It's not just CBD. They figured out what to combine it with. And then the CBD massage oil. This is a base of hemp oil with 1500 milligrams of CBD. It also does have quite a few essential oils. It smells strongly of essential oils, but again, it's a massage oil, not a facial oil. It's really well done too. I think that for instant pain relief, I would say the CBD roll-on. This one though is very nice in conjunction with the massage. It's very nice. So I'm blown away. I'd never heard of this company before, but the transparency, the innovative way of using CBD, I'm very impressed. And then finally, a little bit of makeup. I just have three items here. These are all PR, just so you know, but it doesn't mean it's gonna be a glowing review. So let's start with the Milk Kush Mascara. This one I've actually bought in the past, but I, I you know, it's, it's been so long. I bought this when it first released that I had kind of forgotten about it. Milk sent me this, and I immediately remembered what I don't love about this. 
It's actually a great volumizing mascara. You know, you, you do see volume, and that's the thing. A lot of my favorite mascaras are not that volumizing. They're more for length and for separation. That's what I really look for the most. Uh, but uh, for as volumizing as it is, man, it flakes. Do I have flaking mascara in this video? I am wearing this one again today. Yeah, it's so, it's so flaky. It's so flaky. And I know I already told you all this, but I've been loving the products that were in the Yes Style Advent Calendar. So I am currently wearing the Peri Para Mute Full Rose Palette. This palette is so interesting. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be, which just as a blanket statement, just apply that to every Korean beauty eyeshadow palette ever. If you're an American, at least. We're so used to Morphe eyeshadow palettes that stuff like this is just like, oh, huh. But it is beautiful. Oh my goodness. This is so easy to work with and leaves you looking so uh, soft and just pretty. See, if you're new to makeup and you go and pick up, I don't know, a Revolution eyeshadow palette, you could apply that and think, wow, I'm bad at makeup. I'm never touching it again. You'll become the, the, the box meme, right? The thing is, our eyeshadow palettes are so pigmented that if you aren't entirely sure where to place your eyeshadow, yeah, it can look unflattering. Sure, there's no right or wrong way to do makeup for sure, but there are ways that are more flattering and then there's, you know, I'm trying to tell it like it is. <laughs> but because these are so soft, it's actually really easy to work with. This is fantastic for beginners. The only additional commentary is that the, the two shades in here are quite glittery and also extremely soft. And by soft, I mean actually both the feel and the appearance. So you may not get that much from the shimmers in this palette, but you can always spray your brush or apply with a finger for more intensity. Uh, but f I'm strictly for the mattes. This is such an incredible palette. And then the Cleo Prism Highlighter. So everything I just said about the Peripera palette, don't apply it to this one because this is actually an intense highlighter. I've heard a lot about this Cleo brand. I think this is my first Cleo product though. No, you all have told me to try more stuff from Cleo and clearly I need to. Yeah, this is actually really pretty and yet, even though it's intense, it doesn't leave your skin looking textured. It's like the perfect intersection of intensity without that compromise. And, it, and it's not small either. It's, it's perfect, it's beautiful. I am blown away by this highlighter. I am wearing it today. And as promised, I do have a giveaway. Oh, I'm so excited about this one. So everything is already packaged here. It is taped up, it is heavy. <laughs> I've been funny about giveaways since 2020 because, you know, I want to send you products, not, you know, added bonuses. It's been weird since 2020. So everything is going to sit sealed up while we run this giveaway, but I do have video showing you everything that's in here. It is over a $500 value of mostly skincare, but also some makeup products. And you all know I handpicked the prize for this giveaway. You all know I did. I've got favorites all over the place in this giveaway. We have the Dr. Dennis Gross peel set. We have the entire Cosrx toner collection, not the entire, but three toners. We have that beautiful Dermatology sunscreen, Beauty of Joe Sun, uh, my Alma lipsticks, Biosuns, iUnique, Pharmacy, Medicube, the Laura Mercier powder, e.l.f. brushes, Good Molecules face roller. And just so you know, the stuff that you see sitting out is, uh, is props. The products that are actually in this box are new in box or new in packaging. You know, I wanted to get a good video picture for you all. Anyway, to enter, all you have to do is let me know that you would like to enter this giveaway, leave a comment below. I will have all of the information and rules in the description box below, so make sure you check that. We also have a way to enter on Instagram if you want to get a second entry. But anyway, that's all I have for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Have a fantastic weekend, and I will see you all next time.